The M Resort in Las Vegas is the site of the hottest poker event on the planet. Premier League Poker 4 hits town. From the M Resort in Las Vegas, it's the unique league tournament where 12 of the greatest poker players on the planet are battling it out for a one and a half million dollar prize pool. It's the Party Poker Premier League Poker 4. Last time out, the players raced into action. Yevgeny Timoshenko made some great laydowns early, but ran out of chips. Tony G busted early. We got a gamble. Up off. A disappointing effort. Well, and the G-Man brought his bike, and the only guy that's going to ride it is him. And Roland the Wolf dished it out to Helmer. I wouldn't underestimate him in an eight-handed game, because this is the size of field when he used to win. In the old days where you could just Where's run over happen? everyone, used to win. Now eight years, you haven't won. The last time you won a 10K, I think Ronald Reagan was in the White House. 21 years is not a long time not to win a major tournament. It's just, you can go on runs like that. Nice wow. to still see you here. <laughs> it's like when Bjorn Borg came back like 10 years after you retired with the wooden racket. And the poker brat was shook by a massive bluff. Oh my, JC! Nice move, JC. Well done. JC has to show it. She has to show it. No, no, we're all silent. No, we can't no, even no, I'm really on <laughs> How much more can the poker brat take? I'll tell you right here, right now, I'm trying to get rid of the poker brat. I'm gonna punish you, I promise. Oh, you don't take it to a personal level, I mean, it's just poker. It means every other time we play, it's gonna be a hell of a show. What? They don't think I can play? Are you kidding? You've declared war, I've accepted your terms. I'm gonna mess you up. I can't fucking wait, I'll tell you right now. I just can't stand to leave that table, you know? I just, I don't wanna leave. Don't make me leave. While Helmuth waits to return to the table, Kara catches up with some of his table mates. I'm here with Roland and David on uh, a bit of a break, and you guys seem to be having quite a bit of fun out there. There's been a little bit of needle of Phil Helmuth. What's that all about? Well, you know, like, when you if you throw an incendiary device into a building, you know it's going to go off. With Phil, you just have to keep, like, putting the needle in. He's going to lose a pot, and then he's going to blow up. That happens every time. <laughs> So is that for your own amusement or is it actually to get him to blow up and give his chips away? It's kind of both because he's like the 11th best player in the Premier League and he thinks he's, you know, in the top one. So uh, we like to need to bring him down a little bit, but also like he's liable to go off big star. He seems to bring a, a lot of history to the table with him. He seems to take, you know, it quite personally, especially against some players like yourself as well. So are you kind of putting the putting the needle in yourself? I didn't really feel that I needled him, but it was kind of funny, so I couldn't help la smiling and laughing. I don't really like needling people unless I really know them and I know it's not going to affect them. I don't like to just do that, but I guess I should sometimes and maybe probably would win a little more. <laughs> well, we're going to... Last time they played, the first time they played, Phil tried to take David outside and fight him. <laughs> that was a long time ago. First World Series, he wanted a, he told me, I'm, I'm going to wait for you outside. And I had, I had no idea who Phil Amuse or anybody was <laughs> at that time. So I was like, this guy's crazy, but, but he's a nice guy. It could be really volatile, though. He's a very nice guy, though. Just have to, to make sure. We, we love Phil. But he's so much fun to tease. Oh, that poor man. We're going to have to see how this plays out. Thanks, guys. I'm going to let you get back in there. Thank you. As players head back to the table, this is how it stands. Big pot for J.C. Tran against Helmet. That's why he's chip leader, and Phil's got the short stack. Benjamin and Lack also sitting comfortable. The next player out takes home three points. <laughs> Tony G's yeah. like A6, I probably would have called it. You can't play the worst today. Tony G's already made the... <laughs> he already got the... <laughs> Joined the commentary it's amazing box if he flat, by the Isaac five. Haxton. That hand was over. And Phil Helmet full, full, still riled by the yeah, J.C. train I mean, I just wish I had more chips. J.C., I can't wait to play with you next time. I'm not done yet, but I just can't wait to play with you next time. Because, I mean, we're going to be just like a massive war next time. I mean, you've gotten away with everything this time, but I want to see what it looks like in the long run. I played you last year in the Premier League when, when we got heads up and you picked up aces against ace-king. 
Phil, you called me down 10 times last year and so happened one out of 10 times, it was third pair and it was right. <laughs> But they, they say they didn't show the other you nine. Talk all you want, Jason. They, they, they didn't show the we'll other just, nine we'll times see what you were wrong, and I took you to Value Town with like Ace High. And... <laughs> oh my God! That's right. <laughs> people to value. Yeah, that's sure, last year. Sure. I can't, right, I can't say fine, anything, Jason. I, I can't fine. say anything. Just say what you want to say. That's I can't right. say anything for last year. Last year's over. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna focus. You only won last year, Jason. Come on. Yeah, you had a good result last year. Yeah, he wasn't lucky at all last year. He just you deserved it. The only one that is not lucky and managed to win. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I would never, did, I would never deny my luck. He wasn't lucky when he, he, wasn't lucky lucky when he bluffed off all his chips in the first heat and picked up ace, king, and aces. Speaking of ace, king, a little raise from raise Phil Locke behind the button. My mistake is I didn't know you wanted to take it to the next level, JC. I mean, we could have coexisted, but if you want I'm, to take I'm it to the next level, poker, it's not personal, Phil. No, you, no, you know, you know, I know, that was I mean, you know what I'm talking about. I, I, I try to <laughs> bluff. Are, some of these guys don't even understand. I, I, I try to bluff Vanessa with it. King High yesterday. What well, I mean, I can't, I'm not allowed to bluff you with Five High. Of course you can bluff me. That's that's because you were not scared that she says I wait for you outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> JC, you just got fantastic reading ability. You're just putting it to use, reading better no, than other people. Uh, you know, I read wrong yesterday and cost me 250k. I mean, I don't know whether to listen to this <laughs> row or watch the hand. You think I was gonna lay down an ace when it came ace nine deuce? Really? Think I was gonna lay down a nine? I, 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 I didn't I think you had. That. I didn't feel you had an ace. That's why I bet. <laughs> I mean, do eating. Roland, I wish you'd just stay out of it. I mean, you know, you have to have your nose in everybody's business. I mean, is that is that is that how you got into the league or? <laughs> You can't let me have a dispute with one player? Can you just stay out of it for one minute? Or you feel like every time I open mouth, you have to say something? I'll tell you what I'll do. You spend the next 10 minutes saying stuff to me, but then can you shut up when I talk to JC? Is that all right? Is that a deal? <laughs> it seems fair. I'm it seems more than fair, right? Am I being fair or not? Tell me. You carry on with JC. It was entertaining. Thank you. Next time you'll get him, too. Meanwhile, Lack has bet on the flop here, and Safina has moved all in and a nice one. I almost bet 17. I'm going to say 5,000. Which converts to five yellow chips and yellow chips are more valuable than the rest. Lots passing this. I mean, uh, see, I didn't know you wanted to, I didn't know you wanted to play with me, JC. If you really had 5-4, it was a good play, but I just, I didn't know how, how high you wanted to take it. That was my mistake. I, I, mean, I would have shipped like in a second. I like to take it to the highest level with everyone, not just you, Phil. I understand, I, mean, I understand. I think I mean, sometimes you need to play the highest level of your, your capabilities to be no, able to have No, 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 you, know, you know what I'm saying. They don't, I, know, they no, don't even understand what I'm saying. You, you, you know what I'm saying. I, it's not you, it, it, I mean, it could have been somebody else. It there. is me, JC. No. It is me. So I mean, if that was Phil sitting right there, if, if that was Unibomber you know, sitting right there, and I felt he didn't have an ace, I'm gonna make the same play. <laughs> My only mistake was I didn't think you'd make that move with five four. I should have just shipped it. I mean, I really didn't. I've never seen I someone get high with to take it, <laughs> If you don't want to let me win any pots, that's all right with me too. But I'm gonna punish you. I promise. You know, it's like picking know, a fight with Bambi. I mean, when you prevented me. I mean, it wasn't like I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to let you win a pot. It just, I'm just no, trying to make I, the, the I best decision you possible. Want, no, I mean, time. that's all right. We want to play fast. Let's go. Can Let's play me, super fast. Can you tell him you don't do too much? No, he won the battle so far today. Well done, man. I give him, I give him credit for that. You, you don't understand me. I give you credit for winning the battle. You don't take it to a personal level. I mean, yeah. it's just poker. Phil. It's to the personal level, but that's good. It's, it's, it's not poker. a bad thing. It means every other time we play, it's going to be a hell of a show. That's what it means. So. Uh, yes. And you know what? I'm going to expect to be wrong sometimes, you know? Yeah, no kidding. And, and, and you will be. And I'm, I'm, and I'm ready to be. I, won't, I mean, uh, you know, Irish I can't be embarrassed. You know what? JC is you know, playing really play. well. You wouldn't even give up the four or five. Well, that just tells me. I mean, it tells me what you want to do with me. So let's go. Lions will be going to five and 10,000. And right now it's Tran and Benjamin on top. The differing fortunes, JC on top of the mountain while Helmuth bottom of the pile. Kara meanwhile has found Luke in, of all places, the bar. I've managed to catch up with Luke Schwartz who's had a bit of a chance to you know, rest and relax and get over yesterday. How are you feeling today about it all? Yeah, a lot better. Yeah. Went to the spa feeling all good. It can be really difficult to keep a lid on emotions when there's that much money at stake and you know a lot of the players. We can see it here, you know, in this match as well. So how, how should people be acting out at the table to keep it all under control? 
I think there's a lot of like relationships, poker relationships between the players. So they're all needling each other. They've all got prop bets on. Um, definitely between Helmuth. A lot of people are trying to get a Helmuth. So obviously he's going to blow up if he makes a mistake and someone says something or something like that. So it's just pretty standard. It's just an emotional game. It's just what happens. So how do you manage to keep yourself together? Like, what's your plan going into your next match to make sure that you don't let things get to you? Um, I never really let it get to me until I'm knocked out. So then it doesn't matter once I'm knocked out. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I might have a little rant and that when I'm running bad, but I just try and keep it together. I never really tilt or anything, make mistakes. I just play the same all the time. But then when I'm all in and lose, then that's when I get a bit feisty or whatever. A little bit feisty sometimes. Okay, well, hopefully the next match treats you better. Thanks very much. Yeah, definitely. Thanks a lot. Lines hit five and ten thousand. I mean, I made a mistake. It's my, it's my fault. I should have known we were at level one. I don't, I don't mind you playing, playing at me. That's all right. Ten thousand cool. Level one. I've always had a respect for the greatest players, and they for me. Uh, but, you know, I mean. Raise. 27,000 total. It's time to play. It's time to play. I don't mind. Gold, I just gold. wish I knew that you gold. were going to try to win every pot from gold. me. That's all. Gold. Now I know it's going to be entertaining. Well, it's, it's not. It's been entertaining. Honestly, I'm rooting for you to triple up, and I want to see the I rest of that. Like you, guys, you guys are new rooters. <laughs> I want to see the rest of that. I want to be here and watch. Yep. I, want it to be, I want it to be that way too. I wanted Tony G to get more chips too, because... <laughs> no, it's, you can't compare. I, I love you can't compare. Blind coach. But I know it's the first time I played at the same table with Tony G Both. ever. I wanted it to last longer. Both. Right, the 25,000. I'm all in. All in. Oh, here we go. Is Benjamin going to call here? Yeah, for sure. The blinds have just gone up to five and ten. Both. Nine big blinds. 63 more. It's true Benjamin's call. getting close to two to one. That's Easy a cool. Ten up, gentlemen. Five. <laughs> well, last year I never won a, what, for two years I barely won a race in the Premier League, so I'm not expecting much. Hey, That's Benjamin. not positive thinking, Phil. JC, you better hope I don't win this spot, JC. I feel spot, bad. <laughs> I feel I'm, bad. JC, you hear that? I'm gonna mess you up. He's gonna mess you up. Putting his jacket on. I feel bad, Phil. You know why? I just said I was rooting for you to triple up. No, right, right. Really? Right now I'm not. Now you're not. Before you were, you won. <laughs> Switch sides. Me, right? Sorry. That's all right, Dad. At least I'm honest. <laughs> good battle, man. It's not over yet, but, but no. good game. If you knock him out, he'll be waiting for you outside. I'm not mad at JC. No, I, no, I, no. I just wish. I just wish. We would have known what level. I just wish that I knew he was going to try to, to, to go crazy you, against me. You were playing like a three, he went to go to like a five. I have a question for you. Are those now mine? You go to a seven. Those mine. It worked out for him, <laughs> Roland. I mean, it worked out for him so far, right? I mean, that's all. I don't I care. It's question. a long run. I mean, it's a sincere question. I have to give you an honest, quick answer. I can be joking around and say, no, they wonder. Ever since they dealt the first card, though, Benjamin's had a smile on his face that ain't going off. He likes it here. Both flop the pair. That's a bad flop for me. I can't hit run or run. I mean, I can't hit the running pair cards. This ain't good for him. So yeah. sick to lose with two pair. Guess deuce a top, deuce right? would split the pot. One more time yeah. out of the Premier League on a race, I guess, huh? There's a lot, there's still six sick. outs in there. No. Unfortunately. So, well, game. it's Our been, it's well, been game, memorable. Thanks, Phil. Hell must stay here. And he yeah, showed yeah, some course, flashes. David. Good hand, man. Of, uh, Good play, of great stuff, but then... Good hand, David. You don't have to well, run in a hurry. Next, well, next, yeah. next week, he's not playing. At least you got something to get pumped up for tomorrow. Uh, I, I can't fucking wait, I'll tell you right now. I'm going to read every hand history. We're going to fucking dance. JC's not playing tomorrow. I'm going and if you want to play some heads up after this, I'm, I'm available too. I'm not a heads up wow. guy. I don't care. I mean, we'll play. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't play, but I'll play you for a lot of money right now. We'll just stop the game now. I have to be a whole... Yeah. Look at this. JC, let's what a now. pro. Can He's been knocked out, humiliated, yeah, abused. All right, good luck. Appreciate and he still got time for his pop. Oh, man. Come on, on buddy. Yeah. That was a real blow up. Huh? He just went.
and he started playing every hand and then he went. And the next player out at our table is Phil Helmuth. Now, Phil, you were so quiet and focused right at the beginning, and then the needling started. Did that start to get to you? That didn't affect me at all. I mean, these guys, these guys, they try to needle me all the time. That's that's what I'm used to. I mean, right. you know, I mean, I, I was a little bit upset because, uh, you know, JC. Look, when I play with other great poker players, I consider him a great player. Mm -hmm. Usually, there's a level of respect where we don't try to beat each other every pot. I mean. But with him, there was no level of respect. So I made a mistake. I assumed that he wanted to try to play poker with me. He just wanted to play me. Give him credit. He won this round. I give him credit for that. Well done. Do you think it was personal, based on a history, or? Well, I mean, look, you know, I mean, I, I, I got involved, and it's personal now. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's personal now. So, I mean, I, I want to play with him. I'll, I'll play him heads up for 100000 right now. I'm, I'm, like, steaming. Mm -hmm. I just want to play, because, I mean, I know that, I know that, because now I'm zoned into him. I'm going to pay attention to every move he makes. Uh, he wanted to try to run over the table, and then when he ran into resistance, he wanted to continue to do that. You can't win tournaments that way, usually. But he got away with it today, and, and I give him credit for it. Well, good luck in your next matchup. Thanks very much. Thank you. Play is five-handed when we get back to the second heat of Premier League Poker 4 from the M Resort in Las Vegas. Welcome back to Premier League Poker 4 here at the M Resort in Las Vegas. We've just seen a classic Helmuth blow up and he's exited the building with three points. Who's going to get all 16 in this one? Let's get back to the table. Uh, upset him and then he started three bets. Thanks, Kara. The action's hands. really yeah. heating up here at the M Resort in Las Vegas. Joining me, Isaac Haxton. It's Isaac, really, really we just seen Phil really Helmuth really leave the table. I guess he lost the war. <coughs> Yeah, Phil kind of right. came in out to get JC. Guys. He had talked about wanting to three bet JC's opens, and that was going fairly felt. well to begin with. But I think it was it, all going quite well. That the ten deuce just seemed like a little—I don't know. It was always going to be tough to play that hand, wasn't it? Yeah, I, you know, open. Seat open. And 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 I mean, it was so obvious that that was what he was doing too. It, it was, he tells JC we're going to war. The right. following hand he three bets. That hand, JC says out loud, you can't get three bet if you limp and limps. It's and Phil like raises him with nothing out of the small blind. Like he yeah, doesn't see it coming. Ace 10. <laughs> I was hoping he didn't have ace jack. Yeah. Don't remind so what, me. What the hell was that about? I don't know. That, how about the eights when I shipped it against Kings? I made two yeah, blunders. That wasn't no, he, he, shipped, he shipped it in with Ace Eight to a, the only guy that oh. has him covered, and, uh, and the third guy has like no chips. It was hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but you could have easily, easily let me right, bust Evgeny, and then you and I get yeah. heads up with the eights. Wasn't as bad. I mean, it was hopeless what I did, and I know it. Yeah, he said it was crazy. What, what JC was, is pointing out right now is, in the back is really what he was trying to say myself. to Phil. Is I like, to, look, we've all got history. Failed. You know, I mean, the best thing JC's got, got plenty of history with Locke. I mean, he's, he's also got history with Just Vanessa. The, That's I the beauty of the right Premier League. It's like a trivial pull. Yeah, these guys have all played at least hundreds, if not thousands of hands Think about those. Go, heads up. There was nothing personal about what was going on between JC and Phil. and. Until Phil decided that he would afford it if he. If I thought of a trip, yeah, it's gonna be I mean, great. I can't wait till yeah, they play I, again. How, yeah, how long have we got? To it's just a hopeless retard move I made, you know? Spew tard bank for That is the yeah. fun thing about it the was, Premier League, is that I went they'll down be a back branch tomorrow. That I should gone down, which is, oh, he knows I'm playing tight so he can steal. Stupid, stupidest branch I could go down, you know? Hold in. Go. Ben, you mean, I mean, uh, sorry, Safina is now twice sort of used his small stack for these uh, flop yeah, such a check raise stack. all ins and been effective with them. Yeah. Both times he has flopped a pair. Right. It'll be interesting but to see nice whether in general or not he makes my these same know that I have like after a crazy making those calls and missing. Drawn diagrams but that would have been devastating for you to have such a huge lead and finish but third. He's, he's doing what he should Sick. be doing, which is he's using his chips Sick. to put the other player to a uncovered. decision. Yeah, and that's the trip. Right. He's going for a big pot. You might not right. see you today. Yep, I wouldn't be wearing the yellow jersey. Yeah, he's playing loose and aggressive, which is what I think he should be doing yeah, with the stacks where they are. The yellow jersey's for the leader, right? Like the Tour de France. <laughs> he's got the yellow jersey. Oh. Benjamin definitely opening it up Did a little you? bit. He's sort yep. of, um, oh. you know, just widening everything. Well, he knows that this is not a fun it's spot up. for JC because there's pretty deep and JC is out of position against him. 
a blind he can steal. I said, I said to JC, like, how do you feel about the chip Trouble. trying to add to this stack by the end of the hand, and he won it. 30,000. Yeah, that's a pretty bad fault yeah. for JC. This was good entertainment. Wow, was there? Benjamin has the better pair and his kicker. He had the jack there, Phil, right? I didn't now see. He, he flashed and I couldn't see with this was sort of, in this sort of spot off, and I don't know Ooh. if there's different lines you just take against Benjamin or not. I think that just check calling there is the thing to do. Check. I think he has to be pretty cautious from here on out, though I'd expect Benjamin to check back on that card most of the time. It hits so many of JC's hands. Ace maybe 10, not. Ace 8, maybe Ace Jack. I think he 3 bets Ace Queen a lot before the flop and doesn't continue on the flop with Ace 9, Ace 6, that sort of thing. Obviously, Jack Queen got there as well. 000. Benjamin going for another bet. I wonder if he's. Just trying to eke out some thin value here, or if he was considering turning his hand into a three barrel bluff. Either way, you make that bet, you're so prepared to make a tricky dis decision on every other street, and maybe another one on that street. Yeah, I mean, I you face a raise end. there, that's really ugly. I think I wanted one of you, you guys. You get too. called, and now the river yeah, comes. Me. Raise, maybe. I good I mean, for you, too. or bad for oh, you. Sorry, sorry. Definitely showing Unless he's went not raise, afraid to get involved in so close, tricky spots even against one of the other big stacks. He does it all the time. I mean, well, you know, I, I, as I'm sure many other people have watched well, yeah, him I would've, I would've sort of uh, in the online well, yeah, high stakes games. And, um, <laughs> he's quite an exciting oh. player to watch. JC's raised this from the button. Cool. And Benjamin calling. He, he, he's done this several times already in this match uh, with sort of a variety oh. of hands, once with a pocket pair, now suited connectors. And he showed the pocket pair down, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He uh, ended up check calling once on a fairly scary board and getting to show down winning with his fives. Check. 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 So JC had checked the flop to call a turn bet. Sometimes. Possibly. It's, it's a tough call against a turn bet. That's a board that's good for... David's range to call out the small blind, I would think. A lot of Broadway sort of hands that beat Ace 9. Now, this is a tricky spot. 10,000. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Funny bet. Um, <laughs> he felt obliged to make a play, and he made one that gave him like 6 to 1 odds. Yeah. It's an interesting approach there. I think what was going through David's head is that he can't very well represent the 10 because he's going to bet a 10 on the turn almost Jesus every time. Yeah. So I think he has to I think I'm supposed to call try to make JC think he's value betting white. something pretty one. weak. Something I wish he had a six handed, two, five handed. Bad hands. queen, yeah. good jack. It's hard to really? have a bad it's weird. queen there. Right it now, the likelihood, I mean, if things finish as they stand, that JC Tran and Phil Locke are going to both be, uh, oh. they're going to uh, occupy the top two spots. Oh. Uh, very unlikely that they don't, in fact. Yeah, it's looking that way. But everyone else is going to be running from oh. catch up. Oh. Cool. Heads up. Looking so a very up. David Benjamin call there, the Tell suited look, queen. Look at the <laughs> what do you mean by that? He just raises and then if you... He just sort of... He just likes to defend his blinds with pretty medium strength hands. Oh no, you pulled it. I didn't, I didn't know. A lot of people will let that one go. I don't need the help of the guy. So well in the middle the of the hand, I think kid. he gets away with this. He's stuff, already though. smart enough. I just said you don't look at the hands. Well, well I, don't I mean, to, he's right? got lot crushed in this particular instance, but... Right. I stand by my statement. <laughs> Just hoping for the old 7 9 deuce. Check. Check. Locke takes the free shot at the 8, but that might be exposing him to getting bluffed. <sighs> yeah, I mean, it's not exactly a bluff with Check. Benjamin ahead with his queen high right now, but now Locke picks up the double gutter. 32 there. Yeah. Benjamin just passes it. And Lux, Lux, uh, you say you like watching him. I've been enjoying watching him today, too, because he's doing this more, sort of picking up these pots on the turn I see, uh, and I I just see bubble doing a lot more it. different looks. Oh, my God. That's going to be so delicious, you know? Nice. It's 
Bubblegum! We're just talking about you. Yeah, the little Very helmet good, has uh, arrived into the studio. <laughs> As the Luke Schwartz, who was his own sort of uh, whirlwind in the first heat. I saw the two of them hanging out at the party oh. the night before the Premier League got underway. And Where did you eat dinner yesterday? Those two would be great friends, Phil and even. Luke. Yeah, yeah, Luke really enjoyed his company. I mean, in the heat. I think he oh, said something like, the buffet. I used to think he was a dog, uh, yes, but he's such a G, man. He's so gangster. Did you go to the uh, He did. did you really? I like your Luke impression. That was the best Papa ever made. Really? I heard that was Right, 23,000. Cool. It would have been all over if David had been there. Where? The buffet and the PCA. Oh, but the there will, there will be. If, uh, it will be, I think, quite uh, entertaining when when uh, Phil and Luke are on the Luke same lies. table because oh, um, yeah. Luke is, as we've seen, quite happy to go to war. Um, oh yeah, and he'll pick the fight with his mouth as well as his chips. Yeah. I just came home up today. This pot, raised by Tran, I think. Fold. I believe so. Benjamin flatted the button and locked. Came along out of the big blend. And a lead in on this sort of board. What is what is Benjamin thinking? Cool. Got some overs. I've got some back doors. And he's looking at this bet as not necessarily strength. Wow. Nice card. What number is this? It's a nice check by Phil, right? Because he was probably checking well, on a lot of cards. Right, and I think that he may have a strong feeling that Benjamin takes one off pretty light there. Now he's checking to induce that bluff. And if Benjamin bets here, it's going to be halfway towards falling into a big hole. Because oh, he's yeah. drawing dead. And, and I think he is obligated to bet. It's just the flop call doesn't make very much sense if you're not planning on betting when checked to. 58, if Locke does have this strong feeling, I mean... I think the thing to do is to call and check again. And, 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 and that is because you said that there is a strong chance that it was a float. Yeah. Cool. Wow. Locke's doing well. Setting the trap. He's setting the trap. It comes a four or five. That'll be a really interesting card. It's Check. actually equally as interesting because Benjamin must double barrel. He just has no ch chance of taking Phil off this hand. Though. No. Wonder if he's hoping to be against something like three four or three five. I mean check. Take your hands, gentlemen. Yeah. Lost aggressive. Then you mean gives up. It's not gonna do too well. Locke taking over the lead here and just starting to come up. Could he be a double heat winner and a runaway leader in the league table? More compelling this time because it was two people in. So you were rooting for the deuce, because you wouldn't know what to do with an ace flop, right? Uh, all I know is if he hadn't called the seven eight clubs, I would have probably folded the ace deuce. But 13 more against you, I swear I would have. Oh, I call. Benjamin oh. has, and these guys this are aware of it, but why not three bet Benjamin more often? <coughs> in my experience, Benjamin calls a lot of three bets, and he's coming in a little oh, loose, but not really bad. loose. So you can't just three bet him with nothing and hope to win it right there. If you three bet him, you have to have a little something. You have to be planning on continuing on the flop, going with it if you make a pair. He's not the guy and guy you can push around even when he's playing a little loose. JC Tran has kind of taken a step back, and Locke and Benjamin right now are, I think, on about round four or five, um, e even Look since they went five handed. Works. I mean, not now. Yeah. But before the flop, it looked so beautiful. Zero gapper. In spades, 40%, straight flush, crowbar, take the money. Queen rag, whatever. 
I don't think I've hit an impera with it. I had eight nine of spades. Spade. <laughs> right. I can't and complain. Just think about how much JC spot improves. Yeah, they're, they're flyer hands for sure. Then you mean eight, lock nine, play a two? huge pot and one of them goes bust. JC is oh. now way ahead of no the guys, guys so far. Not even third and fourth. And can <laughs> all but coast to oh. a second place finish make here. Make a big difference. Might get and involved in it is. I mean, among the many talents of JC. His his understanding of when to switch gears in a tournament oh. format, oh. it's like. Oh. Oh. I mean, it's. Let's go. I don't know. Did you guys see how JC. Wow. He's really been in really a lot of final tables. He's right. like seen this stuff That's unfold he before, and he has a great sense for it. He just you, you could almost ask him, like, what's about to happen, and he. Uh, it's just like he'll know. Absolutely. All three of us, boys, let's look for those clubs at the same time. Uh, I have a good feeling about what's about to happen. 15,000 gold. Safina's been doing a lot of moving all in on the flop. I mean, this is such a big hand. I guess he might not. I'd expect yeah, to see him good. slow play, yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One for seven. I wonder if Benjamin would have called a flop shove. He would have been in a really rough spot. With a better kicker, I think he calls immediately on the flop. Here, it's really tricky. 22,000. He's gone for a small bet. Wonder if he's trying to save himself room to fold to a shove. Or if he's just trying to milk what he thinks is a worse hand. Safina's wondering if he should stick it in now or stick it in later. I'm gonna move his inglorious bastard. Wow. That was solid. And the first time I saw it was in France, and it said English cool. subtitle. That's kind of good. I mean, well, it, it, it looks a lot like so a club French. right now, doesn't it, English for Safina? Like it a dry ace in clubs. So it was a mess. I had to see it twice. That's going to be a bad card for Safina's action for exactly that reason. On a lot of other rivers, I'd expect Benjamin to check and be pretty willing to call a bet. But on that one, I think he's just going to check full. I think it's always going to be an all-in bet. I wonder if there if there is a bet that's not all-in. I bet Safina bets smaller than all-in here. He's got 150 to play and a oh. pot of just over 100. Oh, I didn't realize he had the here. He's, that's from what we've seen from him here, I think a bet of like 60 or so is. Yeah, it looks like those brown 5,000 chips. 50, <laughs> I think you're pretty comfortable playing with Giovanni right now, Isaac. <laughs> Uh, I'll say one thing about Giovanni Safina. The flush, huh? He's like put on a good sure. performance today. All you need is someone you know? betting into you. Yeah, he's Probably been playing pretty well. Yeah. Maybe Helmuth should have gone 12. I guarantee you that's the first thing that Roland and Daniel are going to talk about tomorrow. That will definitely be the first conversation they have. Yeah, it could well have been in that. <laughs> Raise to 27,000. Fold. Fold. Fold, fold. I'm not that big of a nit. You guys can give me a little bit of action. I mean, this isn't going to always be pure premium just because I'm under the gun. Have a look at the leaderboard. Blinds are going to go up now, I guess. Seven and fifteen thousand deep. And uh, what do the stats say to you? I mean, look at the Wolf's V chip. He just hasn't had a hand. Fifteen percent five-handed. Real low. The pace will pick up. Join us for more poker after the break. Welcome back to Premier League Poker Four. Keeping me company, Isaac Haxton. I try not to be superstitious because I'm superstitious wow. about being superstitious. If you are rolling the wolf right now, you're obviously thinking about the spot that you're going to be trying to get your 20 big blinds in. What, what's, what, where's the opening? Where's the spot? Superstitious. I think you might have some opportunities to re-raise Benjamin, though he's getting short. It's more like 15 than 20 big blinds now. But with no annies, that's still enough to pick it up, re-raising David's open, I think. I think that's the spot he's looking for, is a reasonable hand to jam over a Benjamin open. Phil Locke has been throughout this Premier League quite aggressive from the button and the cutoff positions when it's folded to him. And he's now had to basically play against J.C. Tran uh, 
out of position for you know nearly two what heats. It's a tough spot have? to be, and Lax faded Seven, it well. I can count them quickly. Yeah. No, no, it's I can see. four, five, six, seven. 72. 69. He's actually opened up. I mean, it was basically dead level between the top stacks, but Lack now, I think, oh. has opened up about 100 or 200,000 cushion, which could be significant if a big pot oh. happens. Definitely. It puts him in a position where he can lean on the other big stacks a little more than they can, vice versa. He could lose a pot oh. to Benjamin right now, and rather than oh. being out, he'd be oh. hanging around down the same neighborhood as Safina and DeWolf. Did you say pot? <laughs> Let's go. Five. We see a couple of these. Tran has not, you know, just l he hasn't looked to fool around with Benjamin. He's kind of Set. been just sort of check folding when he misses. This pot's brewed for action, though. Yeah. It's bound to be some money going in with this kind of flop. And I mean, if you're JC Tran here, you, you're actually usually expecting that Benjamin is, is drawing dead rather than actually having eight outs. Or. Yeah. Yeah, or nearly dead to there running over cards. But he's gone for the check raise anyway. Well, it's a good board to bluff also, because it just doesn't hit very much. A couple different thoughts going through Benjamin's oh. head, and he's elected to call. Um, you know, if Tran is bluffing here, I don't know if that sets up a play on the turn, or is Benjamin just going to have to give him credit for something? We'll have to see. I mean, the stacks are such that Benjamin could certainly jam over a bet here. That's pretty crafty. Yeah. Or is it respect for the 6-7? Nah, he's not worried. He's beat. That's a trap, not any sort of genuine fear. He no longer has the best hand. And if it, the, the bet here is what? To get paid off by a five? Yeah, pretty much, or ace high, conceivably, even. Either way, Tran gets the best of that one. Benjamin avoids the held out noose. True. Me and David have just eaten like half the <laughs> Yeah, that was a good check by Benjamin half on the, the turn there. In Las Vegas. <laughs> We're staying at the buffet. Don't worry. We're staying at the buffet. Mm -hmm. good? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know it was on me. My bad. Is the 42, oh. I, actually, I wonder if this was a spot for Roland, but if this looks more like a spot for JC. Indeed. And in the first match, JC didn't come over the top one of lock one often, one but the one time he did, oh. Phil rejammed with the ace eight and then beat himself oh. up about oh. it for the Two rest queens. of the night. Give me a $320 free you roll. You mentioned this aura, true. Isaac, that J.C. Tran has. Yeah. Yeah. It's very Sign similar to the Phil Ivy the aura, and you just see it. Like, people think he's messing with them when he's not, and I mean then people give roll. him respect when they shouldn't. It's like see a camouflage. David, I don't just, I like it. Normally, be the average guy's like, oh, great, thanks, cool. No, I need yeah, the Yeah, they both just have that the truth, you know? quiet confidence that Tell me what they don't had. need to talk trash. They you know, five bucks. just play their game and... Scares the hell out of everyone. And then <laughs> show me for 35. <laughs> what is and, it? I don't have much. And Helmuth just convinced <laughs> that, that something wrong. between him and JC oh, is personal. I mean. <laughs> it's amazing. I'll tell you the truth for 20, and I'll show you for 45. Right? <laughs> the raise is to 35,000. Cool. 35? Is that I don't take it personal. I have no wolf. He didn't have much yet. of a hand there, but. He, he might be starting to think he's out of fold equity for the three bet. He's getting down there now, yeah. He's down to what? 13 and a half big blind, something like that. All but into open shoving territory. And Benjamin's checking behind on the f on the flop here. Check. You can obviously never be sure with him. KG. Another check for value. Yeah, 
Yeah, I like that flop check. Okay. Something Benjamin's really good at is making sure that he shows up with stronger hands than you'd expect in certain spots from time to time. Checking back twice with this ace is just such a situation. It looks like he's induced a bluff out of lock. He has got him. Hook, line, sinker. And a funny bet by lock because doesn't the king have some kind of showdown value? Some. It would be a lot of help if he had a kicker that played here. I think King Jack has a ton more showdown value than King 2 does right now. Just because Benjamin can have something in the be any sort of king high. But you know, even King 7. The 7 is playing for the win right now. Are we uh, in a sick enough territory where Locke has, uh, has, has bluffed to almost induce a bluff raise? I mean, if Benjamin raises, it's very tough to put him on a hand. I don't think Benjamin will raise. If there's anything Benjamin is contemplating it. Is that a raise? Why do I value it? Why don't I just value check call? I get to see the hand. That is a raise. Yeah, I mean, lock. I'm surprised. Why don't I just check call? This is so bad. Now I might be folding the best hand. Oh, check call, Phil, check call. <laughs> He's not happy, but would have been much unhappier if he had. Called. Nice, kid. Check call. I value bet like a dog. I value bet the river, you know? Don't mess around with DB. You didn't like the raise on the river because you just can't think oh. of anything he's that Phil could be playing that way that he where he has something to call with. I mean, he could have a ten, but I just think that he's so much more oh. likely to make the call when he has the better ace. I wonder if David had some sort of physical read or bet sizing read or something that had him thinking that Phil couldn't oh. have the better ace. Because I'm just inclined to think that Phil folds the ten and calls the ace so much that even if he might have the ten more often, it's still not a good raise. Well, Roland raises the button and takes down the blinds. Full of diamonds or something? That'll get him 22k. He's a good man for stealing in the midst of controversy. <laughs> like, look at, like, especially, like, some, there's times where, like, a guy goes all in. I was like, look, I only looked at one so far. Yeah. So, and I look back, I see an ace. They think I'm slow rolling. I've moved in with just seeing one in late stages, yeah. and then looked down, had to look down again, and then see aces, and then. <laughs> Tom. They think they're getting more slower. Spina's been enough. having just a little bit of problems in the game. looking at the cards. Um, just a little bit well, clumsy for him. The dealer gives and I think it's preyed mistake. on his mind a little start playing the hand. Probably not a whole lot of experience playing live, and then really on top of that, it's not just it's live, but it's dealing with it. the whole card cameras, <coughs> and the table is kind of awkward. You have to pull your cards in from far away. It, it can be a real distraction if you're not used to it. JC's ahead of Safina here, but I wouldn't exactly say he's generally ahead of the range that we've seen Safina raising with. Safina hasn't been the tightest player at the table by any means. Uh, I think he has a lot of non-ace high hands in here, broadways and that sort of thing. Okay. Okay. Check, check. Does JC usually win this hand from here? We'll see if Safina wants to do something. Know, just because of the sort of game dynamics that Safina obviously doesn't want to go out fifth. The bet is, is a little stronger than usual, right? Mm -hmm. The bet is 58,000. Maybe that's why we didn't see a, a continuation bet on the flop to begin with. Mm -hmm. Would have been pretty awesome to see Safina do something there, but mm -hmm. also pretty... Pretty crazy. Crazy so easy for JC to have a pair and a gut shot of some sort. It's so hard to fold a hand like that. that it's a pretty suicidal bluff with basically complete air. Might have a live ace if called, but that's about it. 
Such a different table with Phil Helmuth in an empty seat. Or an empty seat. So maybe 36,000? 36,000 has become sort of the Can't popular. Can't one of my cards. It's Ooh, a he's, um, he, he's going to have trouble getting away from this. Yeah. Uh, Cooler almost, isn't it? For these stacks, it really is, oh. yeah. He has a pretty automatic oh. shove. JC has a nearly automatic call. Can you get a count, please? I must say I prefer the Insta fold. <laughs> well, at least it's not the Insta call. <laughs> that usually means aces, like call, you know? Yes. Unfortunately, it's not marginal enough, is it? Mm -hmm. 250 to call. He's it's actually not an insignificant raise at all. What would Roland have done this with worse than Ace-10? I mean, would he have done it with Ace-9 and Ace-8, do you think? If they're King suited, queen. quite possibly. Queen. Some suited broadways, I Base think. Jack. Wow. JC gets away from it. Huh. Missing in. It's Roland, not a spot I'd be fist pumping, but it's not a spot I'd be letting the Ace Jack go. They were both red. What can I do? I, if there's anything oh, that saved Roland there, it's Jay the uh, four best. his four best. image. Four best. Right. It just didn't stop. Yeah, I couldn't stop. He's been conservative so far today. I had like 1.1 million in chips. He had 900,000. And Evgeny had like 300, maybe. That's Oops. not exactly yeah, tight. When was that? Under the gun yes, raise with the ace-two yeah, suited. And, uh, but he, I mean, he, he played so had, tight against no, him. I hadn't played a hand forever, so I thought the whole day, and finally he lost the lead. Oh. Oops. He raises my small blind. No, no, my big blind. He's in the small blind. All right. To eighty-five thousand, I make it two eighty-five. He ships nine hundred in insta ship with ace eight. I call him with two nines. It hits an ace. <laughs> you know, I just started thinking. That well, hand I've really so upset JC. He he's he's, he's mentioned it oh, you know. three times tonight. I know. That was why it <laughs> yeah. happened. I wasn't thinking. Yeah. Sometimes it happens. That's the danger in playing a sick one, you know? <laughs> uh. So DeWolf's raised this up to 35,000. Benjamin calling from the... No. Yeah, sorry, from Benjamin the line, from the big yeah. blind, yeah. It's so sick, like, I, when I lose Benjamin that hand, like, slightly I'm ahead to, with I would bottom just be thinking, I could have eight Instead of... Roland actually in the better spot because he knows he's never far be behind with his red flush draw and he can play it a lot fold. more confidently. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's so, I was David cold. having a look at the wolf stack and I think also his countenance. Huh? And Roland has not been firing the turn. T time for it? We'll have to see what it brings. Yeah, well, a club would make things easier. As would an ace. I think Roland can pretty confidently make a healthy bet and go with it for the rest at this point. He was just starting to think that nothing was going to go his way tonight, last time, and just a card here or there, fortuitous fold, can turn the Premier League on its head. Maybe there's life in this old wolf. His eyes got, the his eyes got big. Again, I, I don't know what that means. Use. Huh? Maybe John Joanda. You can see every night, every hand tonight. You know, I think. Big one, this one. That is exactly. You do a oh. good imitation. You know. We play similar. We play the same on the floor. Daniel is saying a lot of things about me. <laughs> he does. He does the greatest of the I'm good, but my back is really bad. Who said that? Patrick. Patrick? I'm good, but my back is really bad. I have to go to Cairo back there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> They're not all that convincing, Roland's <laughs> impressions. They're still <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> I think they're great. <laughs> For a second, he had a little crazy thought. But uh, Tran has really been shadowing Safina. Uh, I mean, I guess he's had the hands to do it, but shadowing him. Okay. 
And you can see over half the time this is going to get split. I, I think Safina's check to, to move all in. Without a doubt. There's no way he's check folding here. 60,000 is the best. Yeah, he's called it out. Big spot for Safina. It's not a complete free roll, but it feel it'll feel like one. And you know, it's we played about a hundred hands. This is the first time That's Safina it. has been all in with cards on their backs. So he's in ahead. We know what Roland's rooting for. I don't know if Jesse wants to stop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really, all the players here would like to see that you know, six. Wow. Safina. Everyone now, moves up a little. Plenty of uh, redraw splits. Yep. Any board pair. Or the nine for the win. What's up? Yeah, nine, board board nine, 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 oh, nine or a board pair. Nine or, nine or a Except the names. Nine, ten, queen. That won't do okay. it. And Safina's eliminated. Well, good. he yeah. should feel very good about his performance here. Four points for Safina. Not a, not a terrible start for the right, league for this uh, right. young man. And you can't neglect that he was all in <laughs> to <laughs> double up to 370 and ahead there. Good performance by Safina. The Sorrento Slamma. But for JC Tran, this is his home, the Premier League. And now four left. I mean, DeWolf over 400K, I, that, that's big. He's a, he's a farthing away from second. Yeah, he's had a good level. JC Tran just looks like nobody can ever beat him. Giovanni Safina was our online qualifier here. He's just gone off of the table, but seemed very confident, even though you're at a table full of pros. Were you really that confident? Yes, I was very relaxed, and I grew with confidence throughout the game. I had to take into account that it is four heats, and that's important to the final table. I tried to hold my position, but unfortunately my last hand wasn't great. But overall, I'm happy. Well, good luck in the next match. Thank you. Thank you. So Helmuth and Safina are both out, leaving Phil Locke, JC Tron, Benjamin and DeWolf continuing to battle. Stay with us. We are back for more Premier League poker, and with me, Isaac Haxton. You know, these guys doing, doing so many prop bets, Phil Helmuth especially. I think among the many prop bets that they'll be talking about tomorrow is Phil Helmuth versus Safina for the, for the league table. This is called pounding. The pounding. Benjamin and Lack have been sort of threatening to kick off, and why did I re-raise pre flop You know, Lack's played. Oh, he's played a lot of pots out of position against Benjamin, and they vice vice versa did too. Yeah, they both open pretty small. Benjamin more so than Lack, and but then Benjamin matches that by being more willing than Lack to continue with a pretty light hand out of the big blind. When Alan going one out is him with the commas. That's the most brutal but bit, I think, in the history. Do they have yeah. sort of similar styles? I mean, yeah. as far as they're the two guys who are just sort of, I don't know, opening and then defending. They're definitely the two more active of the four still remaining. Benjamin has a bit more of a passive, trappy style relative to Locke's more bet and raise aggressive approach. I'll never forget that card. Well, uh, good on Phil Lack. He got caught bluffing the last time and went Today? back for another yeah, helping. Oh, yep. <laughs> Starting to get a feeling for JC Tran's rhythms, and I get the feeling that he's going to use this chip lead to just kind of still be slow and pick his spots. I mean, is that classic strategy right now with the big stack? Yeah, I, I think he wants to avoid losing a big pot, but he still wants to use the weight of his stack to threaten playing a big pot against either Locke or Benjamin and keep them folding their blinds to him and 
Dublin. Playing a little defensively one. against him. I was uh, just a little bit bigger, in, uh, so, so there's more room to bluff. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I understand, but I'm saying like so it's hard to bluff like a 30k pot, right? But if the pot's bro, like this was the first hand I played against you like since yesterday or something. <laughs> yeah, Lex limped and then called the raise and. I wonder if it's kind of half stubbornness because, um, you know, trying to ch pretend that he's got like an ace here, if you know what I mean. 30,000. Oh. Yeah. Wasn't going to carry the pretending very far, but that was <laughs> the plan. See, had it been a 30K pot, you would have never folded for like a minimum bet, you know? Correct. See? So not. I would float in reverse and do all yeah, sorts of whatever yeah, I Yeah, you could have killed one too easily. Right. And somebody. Points could go a lot of ways right now. Locke and Tran trying to continue their good starts from last match. We like move tables like eight times, and when I've got home that moment, I had one, I had found an ante, a 25 ante in my pocket. The stacks were like two million. Whatever. I mean. Are they deep oh. enough for this? Is, is Tran deep enough for this play? Oh. You were saying he is. I'm sure you both got premium hats. Yeah, a lot of players are reluctant to one of us. call when they're relatively shallow. Like they're not that shallow here. They're about 40 big blinds deuce deep. Deuce. I mean, it would have been a nice spot for a three bet. Sort of just overall as far as the, the way Lack is opening, but not really Tran's style. He likes to. He likes to give himself the opportunity to make a lot of decisions over the course of a hand when he's in position. He just calls and just calls again, Call. and then maybe puts in a little raise if he's sensing weakness. Now, if you're lack, you've got to be scared. Okay. Lack caught him three barrel bluffing in heat number one. Uh, I think they were either three or four hand, and it cost Lack like nearly half his stack. And are you I like this bet yeah. here by JC. Because a lot of players would just check this down and hope to win, but Locke might have a jack here, and by betting and maybe even firing again on the end, I think he can force him off a lot of hands. Wow. I think I just got like owned. This is exactly the sort of play I was talking about too. Threatening to play a big pot I I against Locke, but not table. actually doing it. I folded it. a real hand. I just feel like I'm getting owned somehow by him. <laughs> you know? Although I was so relieved to find out you had Ace King that time, I thought for sure you had Air and just I had to fold the ten jack yesterday. Chips, JC Tran, so and that though. point, like, wow, that's why calling preflop so <laughs> powerful. <laughs> that just starts oh to really God, prey on your mind if you're Phil Lack. JC now has more than double any of the other players. Because, I mean, oh. Phil Lack should be thinking to himself, you don't really oh. have to beat JC Tran until the final do? table. Oh. I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean, kid why would you want to mess with them before that anyway? Well, I mean, they're yeah, down to four players, and all of these guys are pretty tough. You don't want to mess with any of them. Oh, you can fold. I hate this so much. Look, they're like, I don't want to see a flop. Even I'd take Roland off before JC Tran. There's not really that much difference as far as I'm concerned. Luckily, it's not IAS. Check. Check. How does he know? How does he know? Still check. Very good card for Roland there. He's got this one locked up check. if he's not bluffed off. Such a small bet. Call. I'm gonna take more than one of those to you made me Roland do. off this hand. I didn't want to be in this pot. Now I'm stuck. And Phil's having some very, it, it's almost like, um, it looked like such a great time to make a move. His brain is really screaming some weird right, things we know that it feels right, you can do it. <laughs> right, because I can, you know what I mean? Yeah, Phil is itching to steal one of these, yeah, it seems like. That, so. It is a tempting check raise spot there a little bit. This is going check, check, isn't it? Check. I don't know, JC might fire again. Maybe a small bet to get rolled off complete air. Jack is good. I was right. 
I gotta make it like a hundred. I knew where I made the mistake. I'm supposed to just raise that. You're not holding no, no. on. It's, it's too obvious, right? It's too obvious. Five levels in, four levels left, and that's a familiar name at the top of the leaderboard. JC Tran, the defending champion, showing how to get things done. But the points are available. Six points guaranteed, 16 points for the winner here. Can Tran seal the deal? The Wolf could use some points. Lines will go to 10 and 20,000. I should have played once more. Pairs a pair. We'll try Shan. <laughs> Usually in, in past Premier Both Leagues, like, the players always talk about the hands from the last well, match. See, Here, these guys are talking you, about the hands from time. earlier in the match, so having checked the... Uh, the dynamic. Next time I'm going to raise you. Checked out what everybody had on the blog. <laughs> so I mean, that's... Hang himself. That's a new game, actually, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Could you oh, see that okay. sort of catching on in the poker world, the game of complete information? I mean, I've already heard stories about, you know... Well, I was at a table with Phil Helmuth, so I just checked his Twitter on the break, and he said what he had in the spot I played with. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty sick. I think somebody's got a five. Did Phil Leck limp and call, or did he raise? I believe he raised and JC called. It's a spot where I'd often just re-raise all in if I'm in JC's really spot. Cool. He is so much, no so, so like rarely, JC, guy. in a hurry to get all his I chips in. It's amazing. Yeah, I JC just you loves to take lots of and position, you and study you as the cards you come out. Guess what you have? Pool? Yes. He's wow, as good as anyone six. at that. And his results over the years, I mean... Unbelievable. Yeah, but it makes you think he's right. actually figured something yes. out that other people haven't yet, right? I oh, mean, he has. I mean... I've seen him in spots not quite like that one, but you know where he'll call a three bet, leaving just about a pot size bet to play after the flop, and then he'll check fold a pair of jacks face up on a uh, five five four flop Usual or whatever. Seven. Oh. Just be right. His opponent will just oh. like shake his head in disgust and table the game. <laughs> so nearly put a hundred there. You what? I nearly did the mistake. Very strong one was the new Doyle Brunson one, the the last one they just came out the autobiography. I just got that. I got given uh, it. It's a very, publisher. it's a long read, but it's very detailed and fun. It talks about the old days. Do you days kind of have lot. a feeling that oh, one of yeah. these guys is going to oh, fall behind? And like, if so, who? It could really yeah, go yeah. anyway. Uh, yeah, that, that makes me more suspicious. <laughs> Get ahead. It's like they're going to play a pot here. Right. Get away with the money. A line. It's like a real thing. Ace plus. Roland has to at least call here. Could definitely consider jamming it. Oh man, if he's going to be laying Snap those down, pulled. yeah, he's going to get run team. over. Yeah, and but but it has something like to do with this uh, with this not wanting to play a big pot and give the others equity sort of idea. Definitely, so yes. He's he's only going to open right now. Option. And this has been Tran's sort of, I think he's limped into De Benjamin's big blind maybe, I don't know, five out of six times. I don't know if he's ever raised it. Yeah, a lot of players like that approach where they just open limp all of their small blinds when it folds to them. And I think it's a pretty decent approach. I do that some of the time. Especially if you have the power of that big stack or as often with the smaller stack. Yeah, either way, I think there are compelling arguments for it yeah. in both cases. Yeah. In some ways, the bigger stack is a bit of a reason to push the action here. It's a little harder for Benjamin to defend than if yeah. they were playing a cash game. Yeah. Trans hit enough. Oh, and now uh, more than enough. Good bit more than enough. I think he'll probably go for a value bet here, and I think he has a good chance of getting paid off. King High is about as good a hand as Benjamin will ever have here. Yeah, he calls quickly. Yeah, well, it really couldn't be much. I mean, look at it. What could it be? Could it be a three? Could it be a seven? I mean, there was no... Jeez. Yeah, it could be either of those. I mean, JC could be value betting an ace there. If there's any board for it, that's the one. It's okay. funny because Phil Helmuth... 
told me the other day that he sort that of has sick. been talking to Roland a little bit over the last year or two, and he thinks he's really, uh, no, he's matured Roland, calmed him down. And in some ways, Roland is playing the game that Phil Helmuth says the, the, he plays, you know? <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, he's played oh, pretty uneventful yeah. poker Why do you want the one with the threat of doing more in the right spot. No, uh, the way the action went. So. I like this call by Locke here. I, huh? I think that you when your opponent it. opens for only oh. two and a half big blinds, small to big, you should be defending really light. And this is the game of chicken you were talking about. You don't want to give in, and you don't want to yeah. be the one... You don't want you both to not give in. Exactly. You don't want to be getting run over, but at the same time, you don't want to actually end up putting your stack in the marginal spot. Check. And, and, and this is a pretty crucial pot. There's 100K in there now. It's going to really swing. No matter which way this pot goes, it's going to swing the balance. Yeah. Come on, Roland. Roland does not have much of a hand to be bluffing with here. Meaning, he only has one over card. Hitting the three is nearly worthless if he bets and gets called. You'd much rather be bluffing with a hand like Queen Jack or even something like 10 6. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is totally naked. Yeah. Is it transparent? <laughs> is he repping anything? He could easily have checked the flop with either a big or small piece of it. You know, a seven that he's betting for value now or something much bigger, money, an over sir. pair. Enjoy it. Should have bet the flop. Yep. Yeah, it's worked out. Fall flop. I was check raising. That's why I checked. <laughs> it all worked out for the wolf there, and that leaves Phil Locke just slightly trailing the pack now. Can he turn things around? Join us after the break. Some Welcome back to Premier Seven. League Poker 4, where the Seven. actions forehanded in the blinds have just gone up to 15 and 30. Let's take it back to the table. Wow. Wow, that, that's, that's a tight fold. There's a, there's a couple of the guys who sort of forehanded, they almost always fold the ace rag under the gun. But King Ten and King Jack, they're going to be playing. Raises yeah. I don't know. I've seen a bunch of people do it. I think part of the thinking is that you shove a hand like Ace Five suited, and so oh. many of the hands that call you dominate you are better aces. You get called with King Ten. Both your cards are live a lot more often. On the flip side. The ace five has a blocker to somebody else waking up with an ace, so you get through a little more often. Yeah. Lax made this from the button. Benjamin's made it up from the blind. A really interesting card on the turn. David, let's look at the same time. See if we got any spade action going on. Okay, one, two, three. This way we can't look at the other guy. You did it too fast. <laughs> He's so sick. <laughs> He's so sick. <laughs> <laughs> that was magic. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, is Lack going to regret checking the flop, or overall is it still big enough to be worth trapping? Just with his stack size. Yeah, if he gets Benjamin for all his chips on the turn now, he's not going to regret checking the flop at all, even though Benjamin's pretty alive here. Phil's got to be trying to double up, and... Phil, er, sorry, David's got to be very tempted to shove here with straight end flush outs. Wow. Oh, wow, but <coughs> Phil has been huge. Not leaving any illusion of fold equity for David. That's going to make it a lot tougher for David to go with it here. Wow. Oh. Wow, David the getting bet. away from the yes. river. Whole lot of equity against almost any. I, I bet he checked planning on raising a smaller bet from at Phil Locke. Ooh, I made straight. Yeah, he made it straight with a queen. No, you would win. King seven. That's what he was raising up with. Yeah. I had a king. king is not a good hand for him <laughs> when I'm dying. I anyway. Locke tells me <laughs> checked back the flop with two pair, and David good just bet. calmly. Yeah, I know. 
I felt his, <laughs> he, he just flopped so What a sick hand. <laughs> it's really so something special getting away from a hand that big on the turn there. I mean, but he correct. may have checked. Yeah. Uh, very correct. He may have checked intending to raise a, a smaller bet. <laughs> the problem was, <laughs> he was not. If, if everyone wants to see the river card, but the, but the guy who folded the hand doesn't, you still see it. <laughs> King Queen for Phil Locke. Interesting to see if JC decides to flatter re raise here. It's a triv. It's, it's a triv shove, isn't it? Hold, hold. Yeah. I was gonna say everyone in the world shoves there. It would be they really weird to just call. What's the point money? situation on a death here? What how many points do I get or whatever? How does that work? Six. Six, Six points? Premier League points. Really so play you with your head. <laughs> What's the cash thing at this spot? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> yeah, there's a cash thing right here and there's a points thing right 12, here. Thousand. If I die, how much money do I get and 12, how many points? 12,000. And six points, right? Looks like helmet. You, you, you can't call for average stack. <laughs> JC right. hasn't done this much, whole, so you have to expect he has something. Ace Queen and Ace King are big part you of his range, right? Yep. They yep. certainly are. If you turn it over, we won't, it won't be dead. Isaac Haxton is like, why is Phil playing so badly? This is an insta call. That's <laughs> what Isaac is saying. No, it's not an insta call, Phil. This is a tough spot. You have the flexibility of knowing you can never be super crippled, only semi crippled. So that helps. And I've been opening a decent amount. What do you have? The male left. Try to figure they out what Phil has. So he knows. Well, they're going to be playing more hands together later. It's so 200 guys. trying to maybe pick up a little Put bit of information to use again later. Five. Getting a good mental snapshot of what Phil Locke in anguish looks like. I just can't believe it. It's too cool. Wow. Wow. That's a call. How can you ever <laughs> fold? OK. That was the best hand, too? No. Oh, I gotta do this. You were praying I, I didn't have a queen? I don't know, I was praying for, I don't know what I'm doing here, kid. You know? huh? I'm just fast. trying to get a king or a queen now. This is how the math of the Premier League really gets funny. Back. But uh, one thing, one, two, three. I mean, the size of this pot is significant. It is. And Locke with 16 points in the bag. Negron is crushed if the ace jack holds. It can almost surely to be first or second no matter what happens. Don't do that, don't know. In the league table. I had ace jack, buddy. It was so long ago I don't remember. Nice hand. Oh, oh ten. that second card was key for you. That's a that's a huge ten. JC's gonna just pu pu pull it out of the ace on the turn. Well if done. If he pulls a ten on the turn, I'm pulling the jack. You're already. punching. No, no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, just the tens, relax. Oh, well, you just can't win all the forty well, percent. You know he didn't hit it. Could it be? It can't be right. Turn the lights off. Turn the lights off. Eight percent. Do it fast. Do it fast. Oh! oh my God. He's wow. so lucky. <laughs> he's so, so lucky. So so <laughs> and he's gotten trim every two, time. He's done wow. it to JC oh, so every time. He is holding over him. You know what, though? JC can stop oh, yeah. talking about the ace eight and the nines. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so disgustful. Oh, man. And I'll tell you what, look at DeWolf oh, and so Benjamin. They are sick. <laughs> they are sick, too. I think they might be his best as JC right now. Oh, man. That cost, that cost them a lot of money, I'm sure. Can we get security? <laughs> Can we get security? <laughs> Roland and JC and uh, Benjamin are two guys thinking, you know, if Locke goes out in fourth and we get first, we're right back in the league. Absolutely. Oh, my Lord. Wow. What a card. Back into the chip lead. Phil Locke. Phil Locke is a man governed by three simple tenets. Fun, freedom, and fulfillment. I'm easily excitable. I was in chemistry class when we like put the sodium like uh, nitrate in the water and it bubbled away and whatever, I'm still that guy. I find like the snap crackle pop of my cereal in the morning like a beautiful sound still. I, like I, I have a grape and I'm like, wow, this is like the greatest food ever. Like I'm simple. Wow, if I win this thing, it'll be so fat. Winning 
poker tournaments, it's hard to describe. It's just euphoric. And if I can get to that moment again, that would be phenomenal. I would love it. Phil Locke is golden. Takes over the chip lead. He won the last match. Then he picks up ace king. Raise is to 77,000. Oh, wow. Um, Yikes. And, wow, I mean, you know, in the game of chicken, how bad is it to stack off here for either player? They've both picked up such huge hands that it's nearly forced. Ah, JC's just got enough for a call there, and he hasn't automatically shoved. Nah, he here is. come the rest. Wow. Oh, my. Okay. This is... This is a little scary. Now, can JC pass? He can't. No, not at all. Wow. I'm Great jacked. spot for Benjamin and DeWolf. There's not much between yeah, these two stack-wise. I mean, a complete cooler. Well, you've got, you, we've got bad news. This is part of we've me. We've got bad news on the outs front. I know that. I know. Boy, you hit I had ace jack. one of the four tens. <laughs> This is probably a spot in the final for you two because you had one and two in the first game. Whoever wins this is going to be in the final with 32 points. I think Roland's 30 right. Here it comes. She's doing it. Seven. Just door cut. Tran so far. Or flush draw. Ten or a jack. Diamond. Calling for a jack is oh, pretty we'll sick. Really jack. And you go right for ten again. <laughs> ten jack. Ten of diamonds. Four. There you go. Oh my lord. Yeah, that king of diamonds. <laughs> you had to pick one. <laughs> nah, that, oh that's a good God. one. Also <laughs> killing JC's jack of diamonds out. <laughs> JC can't believe no it. No danger. There's a jack of clubs in there, but no danger. No danger. Sorry, good luck. Buddy. All right, we're playing with you guys. Wow. wow. How well, did that well, happen? Well, How did that happen? So sick. Out of nowhere, lack. You have only 25. That is so shit. And uh, for lock. The Wolf and Benjamin are gonna have to be happy with that situation. I believe the blinds will be up to 2040 when we come back. Wow. We've just lost JC from the second league match. That gives you 17 points overall, which is pretty good. I know it's not what you're hoping for here though today. Are you happy with how you played? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm happy with how to play, but the results didn't show up for it. I mean, I had the chip lead with four players left, and a double fill up in a really big pot where he got really lucky, and uh, then he turned around and busted me, and, you know, uh, what can I say? It's poker. I know you can hold it. It's not just that three yeah, like points is a lot, be right. Isaac. It's, isn't it also that doubling up See? for either of these guys? Sorry. I mean... Doesn't seconds. Then mark your hand. I mean, how much does it improve their chance of winning against Phil's massive stack? Yeah, that you see Pretty him. significantly, they you if see one, one of them the doubles foul. through Phil, he's That's got like yours. a three to two lead on that guy after that. Is that, that right? Yeah. Not to mention that oh. it's not a certainty that either David or Roland will be able <laughs> to funny. fold into second That's without increasing hand. their stack. If I they both try to do that, that's really bad for both of them. It's not just the amount that doubling up increases your chance of getting first. It's the amount that doubling up increases your chance of getting second. And you went all in. You went, how much is that? 400 or something? Lack trying to decide. I mean, Benjamin calls DeWolf with a lot of hand. Calls him very light right now, right? Probably so, if yeah. Bill folds. Three, four, 464,000. Right. So you're thinking, oh, I win 60. Or I put in 40 and then I'm 420. And if Bill comes in, Benjamin folds all the hands. Yeah, just about. Benjamin would have to have a monster to call behind there. I have to admit, I love seeing guys who know the math and all the odds of poker so well and all the strategy being put in situations where they're not exactly really sure what the right play is. is really <laughs> annoying. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's really the cool annoying. thing about the Premier League is it really does put players in unfamiliar situations. Oh. I think I Am like I that going? fold from Phil. I just really don't know. <laughs> Tough spot. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would have folded that. 
<laughs> He's you on have my to, guard. You have to factor in that I'm, I, my range, my range is I don't know. I think I like it. David so too. how many big blinds do you have to shave off rolling points, stack yeah. before you in call? Theory, that's correct. Two or three but has to be enough, right? You probably, you probably, yeah. I'm stunned. I'm wow. stunned. No matter like how much I could be you try and take, <laughs> right. uh, you know, uh, things out of poker. Oh, I mean, it just might have me, but I could. Lady Luck comes there and just smacks people around. Absolutely. And you have around 400, right? Yes. Okay, I'm going to raise it. Uh, raise. 80 more. I'm all in. Wow. Okay, I don't raise like that. That's not good at all. And all in. Put in the 80s and let's see the damage. <laughs> so, uh, what did I do? I Probably did Benjamin points. would have called an open shove here. anyway. Without it's a math thing. fewer oh, than 10 man. big blinds, his hand Just is a monster. Monster. It is a math thing. I could be seriously overcoated, but you might have pocket nines. I really nice. don't think Phil can fold here. He's getting fully two to one. one. 242,000 more. It would be a pretty big mistake, actually, wouldn't it? I mean, I can't. I think so. I, I would have to quit poker if I could fold this. So I, just, oh, I don't want to quit I'm, poker. I'm with so. you, Phil. Don't quit oh, poker. Do Put this. some chips in. This is what it does, huh? It's really spiky. And a cool. I can't. You're fine. I, you're fine. You win. <sighs> Live that, cards. Never not win? Live um, cards. It doesn't win when it comes ace, ace, nine. Right. Or when it comes three spades. <coughs> Big well, spot for I'm Benjamin. Really I don't even know what I'm rooting for. I'm not rooting for an ace, I'm rooting for ace, 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 nine. Which way are you, you flipping? Do you roll to two? <laughs> is it I think it's pretty, pretty clear Roland's rooting for Phil Lack. Can we squeeze them like? Obviously, yeah. No sides? Oh, you take, you by the way, I'm so ready to lose this. I've done too much winning. You should take two cards each. <laughs> it takes two cards, and I'll take one. Right. <laughs> okay. How did they do? He's played a good match, David Benjamin. Seven, eight. Oh my lord. <laughs> wow, He's played a good match. A bit of something for no everyone. No ten. So I have to dodge a ten. <laughs> so there's sometimes people. <laughs> you just there's some guys you just never gonna beat. First to see. On some days. And Phil Lack's having a good day. Oh my lord. He is, but Benjamin's <laughs> still do? pretty live here. Ace for a 10. He's so sick. Oh wow. <laughs> Not today. Not today. He's going to be a force in this <laughs> Premier League. Eight points good night. Uh, from I'm his first this. match. Match in hand, Benjamin. And. Uh, I so think a really exciting style. This is like normal for you. This is new for me. And out in third is David. Now you seem to get lots of you know interesting hands early on, but then it sort of died down for you towards the end, didn't it? it you just weren't getting the cards. Yeah, not much cards. I mean, but I had some luck in the beginning, so I can't complain. And you always need to have a little more. They had it today. They did. It seems like Phil is doing really well, and he's hitting everything. Is there something to the fact that if a player's in form, that it's really hard to beat them? Well, poker is a lot about luck. You know, when we, we all good players, and there, there are some skills, because one day you're more awake than the other. And, and, and obviously, you can ha also have a tail on someone, or you know, play position better, and that day you have a better position, so you can use whatever is good to your advantage whatever your, your, your strength is, you can be lucky with that. But good players at the table, lots of luck. We've seen it today. Doesn't mean that he doesn't play good. He plays good anyways. And uh, well, that's his day. We're heads up here in the Ravello Bar at the M Resort in Las Vegas after the break. We've reached the heads-up stages for our second league match. Can Roland DeWolf topple the current league leader, or will Phil Locke do a double? Let's get the cards in the air and find out. It's a bit awesome, Phil Locke, and should he win yeah, here, you game. have to say guaranteed yeah, final table, maybe guaranteed, guaranteed chip leader, up, Isaac. Yeah, two up, wins. Thank you. Outstanding. Good luck, buddy. Good luck, buddy. And like I said, I don't mind losing. I just don't want to get owned. Uh, looking at the stats, obviously the chip stacks the big thing. Roland out chipped about three to one, and no reason to do anything but chip him. Yeah, yeah, he's got 13 big blinds. All the complicated points considerations are out the window. You just want to do the thing that cool. gives you the best chance of winning this. Now, should DeWolf topple lack, and that's a big if. Chance for 19 points for Roland. Um, 
second place will get him 14. He's going to feel like it was a good day's work either way. Um, 19, much better position to get a final table berthing. Um, but with 14, I think solidly on the way to the top eight. Yeah, well within striking distance, ahead of the pack on average. Check, check, Phil followed up the flop and <laughs> rolling with the chance to get in some trouble here. Yeah, he's, he's picked up a pair. Yeah, he's only, only up against a full house. Phil in an awkward situation here. With oh. Basically just has the deck crippled. <laughs> right, what can Roland have? Yeah. You just, you just... Oh, oh no, what Roland can card. have is the under full house. Oh, That's my God. Brutal. <laughs> I think the word so sick is going to be shortly out of Roland's mouth. I wonder if he gets stacked here or not. Oh it would be such a ridiculous bluff for Phil to raise a bet here. <laughs> I mean, you know, Roland might be thinking now that it's worth it being trying to be greedy and getting called up by a, a queen or even something else, right? Right, yeah. Th there's no reason for Roland not to value bet. But now when Phil jams over that bet, or min raises it or whatever he does, it's going to look an awful lot like he has what he has. <laughs> this is so sick. What a turn in river. Roland's got deuce yes. three in the big blind. Ugh, so disgusting. That's worse <laughs> than sick. Roland's so upset he's pulled out a three syllable word. <laughs> <laughs> there's I mean to me there's so little in it. Because because more? Roland has absolutely no chance of beating Phil tonight no matter what he does. He <laughs> must feel like that anyway. But you know, Luke Schwartz got off quite a big hand when Lack folded, uh, flopped a full house in their, well, you know in their match. Have. You know, does Lack ever raise with worse? Does he ever? It would have to be some really fancy Are sort of bluff with a king high or something nice like deuce. that. Limp on the bottom of the ace with a deuce. Yeah, hard to fold a full house. You got it, but he's going to be able to laugh about that, I'm sure. Eventually, can't feel very funny right That's now. It. Sorry, boy. Oh, <laughs> Roland reduced. Was, to it's hard for you to get paid. A little fewer than very six hard. times the big blind. <laughs> Amazing. Um, the amazing Phil Lack, making a mockery of the Premier League, thrashing them. But it does, it sets up these first two matches for some really That's tense stuff ridiculous. later on, especially if the... Ace, ace queen, deuce, deuce. <laughs> the well, league is bunched. If you were setting up the hand, how would you... <laughs> <laughs> it's true. If you were trying to set up the deck, it's about how you'd do it. Okay, I'm all in. All in. I call. Go. Okay. All in and gamble. Could this be the beginning of the greatest comeback in Premier wow. League history? Certainly could be. Roland's quite live here. Nine. 200? Uh, 230 total. 460's not a bad start. He'll only be about four and a half to one down. How have you been doing these coins? <laughs> you know how I've been doing. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> but these are different kinds of flips. These are, I, I, I had that side against Vanessa Rousseau and I won. I had king six against pocket fives. Most of my flips are on four in the 40, 35. Lax holding with the fours. But that's a big flop for I'm Roland. I'm gonna find out before Picks the world up an open finds out. straight draw to go with his pair outs. We've got a ton, of, a ton out, seven, eight, nine, 10. Don't let him see it. Seven, eight, Come nine, up. queen. Don't let him see it. Don't let me see it. Can we squeeze for it? Let him squeeze for it. Give me the card. Marty, let him squeeze for it. Give me the card. No, Come on. Marty won't let it. <laughs> it's I'm strong. I can take it. If you win this, it's like, uh, you know. <laughs> let me squeeze it. Give me the card. <laughs> Marty Eddie won't let it. Okay. There it is. Wow. The producers say it's okay for the squeeze. No, it's not in the card. Eddie said the it's okay. with Eddie the double up. <laughs> yeah, it's a bluff. Eddie's not even in the room. <laughs> 
had to be sure that that was bad for him when he saw the five. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Wow. Two outs. The Wolf with the double up, bar the four. Ooh. <laughs> red two side red. He had to be sure that that two was bad red. for him when he saw the five. Oh. You just have to do it all again now. Like, like a cockroach. So sick. Both no, these guys no play tomorrow. could basically yeah. play each other's cards and not be giving up much. Yeah, I think that's pretty true. Do it, kid. Show me that gear. Yes! <laughs> scratch card, <laughs> scratch card. See if I'm lucky. Uh, this is a, bit, a little bit like roulette right now. Hello. This has got to be the best hand 70% of the time. And the 30% of the time, it's not the best hand I can suck out because I'm good at it. OK, what is the damage? It, this is a call, right? Or is it suddenly so. too many big blinds? I feel like I have. I feel like I, I think have it's to a good call. call. It feels like it. I think I'm maybe with the something real hold. bad, king two, three, maybe even four, or let it go. King I could six, be overcoded, and then enough. I would be most disappointed. Wow. If Lack calls and the wolf doubles up, five hundred and forty thousand, five hundred k. They're both going to have thirty big blinds. Heads up, I have a monster. You showed those other ones. You can't keep doing it. I encouraged you right before I said, come on, do it, show me the gear. And you know I'm a dog to be able to call. And I'm running so hot, if I'm wrong, I just, I sometimes just get there. <laughs> I like all that thinking, to be honest. This is like a huge hand heads up. Yep, there's the call. No. <sighs> oh. His I like the call. Yeah, but his motor oil seeping out the radiator pan. How much is it, 480? Door is open. 540. Talk about momentum shift. 540. Well done. Oh, the door's open. I opened the door. Why did I open the door? I'm supposed to wait for an ace. I play so bad. I'm bad. You kept, how could you, you have a king 10, huh? That's it. He has the king 10. 10. Four. Four deuce. Four deuce. Seven. Four deuce. Four deuce. Seven. This is going to Hold change on. things. That's it. Rolling Six. doubles up. They're <sighs> going to be pretty close well now. Done. Okay. Check it out, Vinny. Yeah. And uh, just one of those things. Pretty standard. Pretty ob. <laughs> I don't think Phil should fold before the flop there. Unless you want to really very double guess yourself, right, you the ice try to read something into the way Roland you know put his <laughs> chips into the pot. I would have called if you'd done the, the action. But the blinds, 30 and 60,000, the top level, there's only 30 big blinds in play. It will definitely end on this. And, oh my, well, th this, this could be all in. I mean... If the Very wolf, possibly. Right, because Lack has limped to shove, right? You yeah. have to do that. DeWolf is probably debating whether he should just stick it in right here or make some in-between sized race. His hand is an absolute monster. He wants to induce action for sure. But he doesn't love getting flat call. Oh, cool. Right. cool. Lack's in trouble. Lacks in a lot of trouble. Now that's tempered by the. I know it's going it. to be tempered by the fact you he's going to realize a guaranteed 27 count, points is me massive either way. Yeah. And the wolf is all in. But the wolf uh, covers both of Lacks' flush draws too. <laughs> no, it was good, Phil. It's a pair. It's heads up, Isaac. What do I mean? <laughs> it's rolling. I had a pair. <laughs> Don't fold pairs, Phil. I'm with you. <laughs> I've been playing too much heads up. I'm not enough. <laughs> and not enough. <laughs> Lex got 360,000 back, oh but if Lord. these eight. No! Ding, 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 ding. Oh, no, no way! Ding, ding, ding. No way! Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. What is going on? Did anyone expect otherwise? Amazing. Let's be serious. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a bing bong. I mean. Roland could pick up some extra outs with the spade here. here. 
Can we have security look through these decks next time? I mean, I might have a friend I don't know about or something. This is like he pretty is ridiculous. In a different place. And there's your full house. Now, a three, interestingly enough, is an yep. obscure out for DeWolf. That's true. Gives DeWolf you know three is full of eights to beat a blocks, four and a half percent of whatever it is. I will accept the pre handshake because I know it wasn't giving up, it was acceptance, which is different. <laughs> and Phil Lack's done it. And can he be stopped? I mean, in this form. I, I, I think the answer is literally no. I think he has locked up his berth at the final table. In second place today in the second league match for 11 points, Roland DeWolf. Did you foresee that deuce coming down on the flop, considering how Phil Lack's been running today? I didn't think he was going to hit. Uh, no, I thought the eights would probably hold. I was. You know, it's 2.2 million in that, 2.4 million in the pot. I just really hope, obviously, that those five points aren't crucial come the end of the week. But five points is massive. You don't get the chance to like to get five points very often. So, you know, it feels more like five loss than 11 gained. Phil Locke, you're two for two. Give me a reaction to this. Okay, we one, we should check the security uh, cameras. We should check these decks. We should check everything because this is. <laughs> We're like, this doesn't happen. It didn't happen. The 10 didn't come. The 2 didn't come. The 8 the day before didn't come. The, these things don't happen. So you're, you're asleep somewhere and you're I, dreaming all this. I cannot believe. <laughs> I mean, I saw it happen. I was there. But it really is. I'm outside of myself right now. I am like, uh, wow. Two matches have been played in this Premier League season. And Phil Locke's been perfect. 32 points feels like enough to make the final. Good starts for Tran and a Wolf, while Benjamin's got a game in hand. In the playoff zone, Yevgeny Timoshenko with eight points. Decent results for Russo, Safina, and Schwartz in their first Premier League match. In the relegation zone, Premier League stalwarts Helmuth and Tony G have been here before. They won't want to stay in the bottom four for long. Neither will party poker pro Ian Fraser and Daniel Negreanu, the only player to have zero points at this stage. Phil Locke takes down maximum points in his first two league matches, making it a certainty to see him on the final table. But for the rest of the field, it's going to be a fight to the very end for them to secure their seats. Next time, Phil Helmuth, Daniel Negreanu and Vanessa Russo are all in action. In Premier League, this is big. It's all about the points, baby. <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom. Eat Not some of that. that. I could be dead, but I think I have you. Damn it. <laughs> What can I do, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm just so happy with the way I'm playing. I, We're happy you know, with the way you're playing, too, Phil. <laughs> That's good, you have, Kenny. <laughs> Danny, you ought to work on your own shtick someday. I mean, I don't need a shtick. I don't need a shtick. I just paid the admission fee.